Hello and welcome to another video. This is our second. <laughs> In the Netherlands, where we currently <laughs> are, because we are here to await the. We are expecting our first child, and we decided to come here. Yeah. So, welcome to our channel. This is me plus you is us. My name is Kwame. I'm Elaine. And yeah, if you're new to the channel, we share our experiences and talk about our. Yeah. Uh, Ghanaian Dutch uh, cross world something something. Yes. <laughs> Great summary. <laughs> yeah. But this one is a special one because um, a few days ago we had our anniversary. Yeah. Marriage anniversary. For how many years? We've been married three years. Yeah. And it feels way shorter, I, I have to admit. It feels way shorter. We got married in the. Uh, before, right before the lockdown, when mm. the world went into like you know, the pandemic 2020. and twenty twenty, yeah, and I just can't believe that it's already three years. I think it's a good thing, no? Yeah, it's a good thing. Like that time goes fast, but it's not boring or like it's not. No, it's not. This. It's not boring at all. It's not boring at all. And I've known her for eight years, mm. but we've been we've been like we became official. We started dating. I was a child when I met him, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. She I was, always said I was this 22, when... which feels very young now. If she you look back on it, she it's always quite said, early. Yeah, but wow. I guess I've always been mature for my age. Yeah, that too. But what? I was a child, isn't it? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> it's just, it's funny. She still calls quiet. herself a child bride. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say? <laughs> But it's funny because Kwame feels very old. Yeah, I'm old. Right? I think it's rubbish. But uh, you are as old as you feel. And I feel we're doing things at our own time at the right time when we are ready for it. So Anyway. No, it's okay. Yeah. You're fine. You're fine. Uh, I thought you were worried about my mic. So I was like... No, nah, just let me just move, me move it out a bit. It's just, it's so funny because every time I put the mic right and then he just wants to touch it a little, little bit, like... I just want to be in your space. <laughs> that I understand. Yeah, I just want to be in your space a little. Okay, so as an anniversary edition, I I uh, st stum stumbled upon or like yeah, I yeah, discovered yeah, a few memes which I think are very typical for a marriage. So yeah. I'm going to read them and then Kwame puts them in the screen, like... And like the, I like, like it when she, one. I like it when she insists <laughs> in the video on. that he's gonna put it on the screen. Plop. Like okay, I have this to. one is very cute. So it says dating text, baby, I don't feel good. Married text, I've had diarrhea seven times today. <laughs> 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 and this is very <coughs> recognizable for me. Yeah, because in the beginning, you know, when you start dating, you're like. I mean, you're sharing stuff, of course, how you feel and you try, but you kind of tiptoe around certain things. Especially. Yeah, you're trying to be prim and proper and everything should be, you know, fit a certain image, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. yeah. Because in the beginning, I was wondering, first of all, I had never <laughs> had Elaine fart in front of me. Yeah. And I would fart. I just, I just fart. Like, mm -hmm. I actually fart a lot. That's not a good thing. <laughs> I don't know if people want to know this, but okay, move on. But, you know, you try to hold back all these things and now it's just, it feels like second nature. I mean, yeah. this is what you, it's happening to you. Just say it. Yeah, I think for at least maybe I shouldn't speak for all women, but in my perspective, this kind of a female view that women are not supposed to talk about like doing number two doing number number one like yeah it's, it's not ladylike it's not ladylike not perceived as ladylike which of course is rubbish because we're all human beings and we process our food and it should just be normal yeah. but it's not it's not romantic and in the beginning you also i also wondered like yeah if you start doing these things will it like decrease you know, how you look at me or that you don't find me attractive anywhere because she, yeah, because <laughs> she's bloated. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> which of course is rubbish, but it's just image of what society yeah. wants women to look and feel and smell like. And trying to keep it together yes, all the time. All the time, which it's, is of course rubbish. Yeah, it's not sustainable at all. Yeah. But I think for me, like the last, <laughs> last layer <laughs> really came down during this pregnancy. pregnancy yeah. Because, okay, I'm not going to go into gross details or anything because it's not necessary, but... Just imagine that you're growing and an, a baby yeah. and like there's not a lot of space left, even for my food. Like my, your your stomach is like up here. <laughs> That's how it feels. So, yes, you burp. You have acid reflux. It You make weird sounds. Yeah. But even if you are gas, you're not going to hold it because you cannot. You cannot hold the baby and, and keep and your farts. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've just been even... I mean, of course I do it suddenly. But when I have to do it, I have to do it. And yeah, it just goes... You just have to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Same with number two. I cannot hold a baby and a number two. No. For Why would you even than... do that? It's not even healthy. Yeah. So, no. So, and same with going and uh, being. You have to go. Like, I cannot... Hold it, it's gonna hurt me literally. So, yeah, that last layer crumbled. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I don't think it really affected how you look at me. No, I don't, it doesn't like no. nothing changed for me. I even prefer it. It's, it's you can yeah. be your absolute self. Like, yeah, I think that's kind of freeing. Like, yeah. even I'm my human self and it's messy, but he still. Like but that's how it's supposed to be. We're supposed yeah, to, be, like, if you're not comfortable, if at this point in your relationship or marriage, you're still not comfortable with the most fundamental human self being, I don't even know how to put it, then that's weird. Yeah. I mean, you can't tell your spouse or partner that this is what's happening to you or maybe can you check if this thing, like, some body parts or something on my ass is this, or like I have a pimple here, or, and you yeah, think that you it's embarrassing to. for them to look at it. Uh, no, I don't. No, I think, weird. I mean, I think maybe you can still be embarrassed about it, but what I do is say like, oh, I have something embarrassing. So, you know, like, yeah, I'm not, I want to share with you. I want you to check, but it's so embarrassing. Yeah. Uh, and I often say that, why, why are you saying it's embarrassing? It's just yeah. normal. Yeah. So it, it's, it's a new layer of being as free as we are while, I mean, <laughs> we're not overdoing it. No. But it's nice you that you it, can you, be yeah, when you have comfortable to do it, you don't feel vulnerable. like you should hold back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That was, a, it started very funny that it became super serious <laughs> <laughs> discussion. Um, this one is also good for Netherlands relating to the cult. If you've seen our last video, Kwame doesn't like the cult anymore. So when he won't let you put your ice cold feet under his nice warm body, and now you're wondering if marriage is even <laughs> worth it. <laughs> and there's a really cute baby Yoda. <laughs> so I, I, I think this one works rather for me instead because my limbs, as in my hands and my legs, while being here, are always cold. Yeah, so then he wants to, I mean... Sometimes I want to rub her belly. And when I touch her <laughs> belly, <laughs> the way she reacts is almost like, <laughs> yes, like you have like I don't know how to describe it. It's it it feels so. How dare you touch me with? <laughs> that's how it, it. Oh man, so I think yeah, that makes me reconsider if if <laughs> marriage is really worth it. Yeah, because I, it's hard to warm up. Because you ha you have to love me and love me for my cold hands as well. Mm, you know, they're too cold. I think this one is uh, very recognizable, even not in marriage, but just in like <laughs> any day, honestly. It's this two ladies keeping each other in shots saying, what do you want to eat? What are you in the mood for? for? Yeah, <laughs> that's that's just basically it. If you live together with somebody, that's just it. If you live and, and you care for each other or yeah. Yeah. It's often that. What, what do you want to eat? What are you in the mood for? Mm. Literally. Yeah. Back and forth the whole time. But I think for us, for me, <laughs> I find this, you're a bit more functional with food, especially when you're working. Mm -hmm. I don't think you mind that much what you eat as long as you eat. You sometimes also forget to eat when you work. And yeah, she brings it up here. When you, <laughs> when you get in the focus zone, you, you kind of see it as a very functional thing. Well, for me, food is more like a 
a highlight of the day. So when I cook something nice, it's something it's like... It's part of the experience of the day for you. Yeah. And for you, it's just like, oh, another thing. Actually, that's very functional, uh, like the Dutch people. Dutch people are also eat very functional eaters. Mm -hmm. It's um, we, it's just oxygen. Like, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> let's have a brood. Some brood. <laughs> and go. And, and, and with the functional... Uh, Dutch people food thing in terms of how they even consume the meal. It doesn't have to look good so long as they can chow it down easy. As soon as I've realized this, I don't know if it's everybody. As soon as the plate lands in front of them, they mash. Mash. Like chick, 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 Small, chick, chick, yeah. chick, And then starts going. So, yeah. But with Dutch food, it doesn't always look good, but it does taste good. Because when you had my aunt's pea soup, Yeah. How was that for you? It's a very traditional Dutch dish called erte soup. Yeah. Pea soup. And I really enjoyed it. When I saw it at first, like, I, I honestly thought. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have to put an image here of pea soup <laughs> because it's kind of this gray, greenish. It's thick like a stew and you're not. There's a lot of things in it. I should have put it. this in the culture shock video. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of things, but it's. There you yeah it's very you see things in it you're like lumps and stuff but because that's like vegetable sausage meat but it doesn't look delicious but at least when I tasted it it was it was really I was good. pleasantly surprised it was really good but it was, it was more really like good. a stew for you right yeah because our, our definition of soup is different yeah we we go with the broth looking spicy mm. with you know chunks of meat or fish or something or even if just veggies that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. So our idea of soup is different. I would call that like a stew, and I'll most likely eat it with rice or something, yeah. some other heavy meal. But that was nice. I'm that was nice. I enjoyed it. it. But for us, I think the food, <laughs> the food decisions do are a bit of a pickle from time to time. No. From time to time. Yeah. But we do have now. We've managed to have like a, a roster of. Um, dishes we like we like and yeah. we almost always fall back on those when there's stuff in the fridge for them we just cook those yeah five seems I do, like yeah. it's not enough though yeah <laughs> that's what I was to say like, if there is room for improvement I think in our marriage then I would say like let's get a few more recipes maybe double the recipes so you have like 10 recipes like rotating instead of yeah five is a bit limited Yeah, but I I do think I'm not sure, but from what I've heard from friends, that it's a lot. Like you're both working, you're trying to eat well, not yeah. order out and all yeah. these things, and it can be tricky. You have to do groceries, you have to think ahead. Like, what do you want to make? If it's better to buy in bulk, um, because then it's a bit cheaper. You don't have to go to the store every day, which also takes a lot of time. So I do think this is very like underrated as in not discussed a lot yeah but it is a <laughs> quite important decision so call, oh, even though they're small mm -hmm. so yeah okay <laughs> can't believe we talk so long about these memes yeah it's funny right what it connects okay um this one from sarcastic mommy oh we'll add tag the accounts where the memes came from in the description, description box, so if yeah. you feel like checking them out or see if there's more content that relates to you you can check them out yeah. sarcastic mommy for <laughs> marriage is between two people one person who is on the verge of sleep and one person who is asking if the front door is locked, locked. <laughs> okay <laughs> that's that's a painful one actually is it yeah because Why? when you get really comfortable in bed yeah the last thing you want to do is Oh shit! Did we lock the door? Mm. Did you lock the door? Did that lock the? Do you remember? We actually have a lot of not every night, but once in a while, it's like, did we lock? Yeah, it happens more often than not every night, but very yeah. often. I think it's also because it's like a routine task, so it goes quickly in your brain. Like you do it, but it's not like registered as such because it's like a habit. Yeah. And then you're like, hmm, was that today or yesterday? Yeah. <laughs> yes. and you think that, because it's like, oh, the, door. the same moment. Mm. But I often get out to go and check anyway, because I'm more security conscious. Yeah, but, and honestly, at this point, he's also more mobile, no? Before I'm out of the bed, it's like 10 minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> the house could already be empty by then. 
That's if it wasn't locked. Yes. But yeah, 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 yeah. That's 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 basically it. Yeah. Who who locked the door and go and check in? Yeah. Yeah, but it's um. It's, it's really strange. Sometimes I literally lock before climbing upstairs or going to bed, and then you lie down, and three minutes later you feel like, wait, maybe it wasn't today that I did that. Yeah. Why? I have it a lot also with uh, car lights. Whether you turn the car lights off, off or on. Yeah. Even in Ghana, some I often go back to check. Like I don't know, I just don't want to get stuck anywhere. Yeah, so I'd rather go back for two minutes and see it. Yeah, than... because leaving it on and your battery dies and then you're. But this locking the locking the door situation is worse than Nellis because once you're in the bed, you're nice and warm, cozy, like, and you know. And then you have to walk down cold. downstairs and then now come and warm up again. Yeah. No, it's not nice. Yeah. It's not so. nice at all. Okay, and let's go to the last one. Okay, it says newly dating. I love laying my head on your chest when you're sleeping so I can hear you breathe. <laughs> Three years later, I recorded you snoring so you can hear how fucking loud you are and why you can't fucking sleep. <laughs> this one is actually funny because it happened last week. <laughs> um, so Kwame now has a cold, but before that I had the cold first. And uh, during the night my nose would get blocked and then apparently i was snoring so one morning i woke up he's like yeah you were snoring this night listen to it listen to it <laughs> like, oh my god how is who is <laughs> harassing me in my own bed <laughs> Le leave me alone <laughs> but now i it's the other way around because okay now it's a bit better but a few nights ago <gasps> the way he was snoring because the cold was in his way. Yeah. So it's not his fault. I knew it was not his fault. But <laughs> I mean, hello, I want to sleep. Like, this baby will come out at some point and I need my rest. Oh, oh. it was too much. <laughs> well, you, are you going to let them listen to my snoring? or? No, I'm not going to okay. do that. That's uh, it much. was loud. That's a bit much. Yeah, let's say it was loud. <laughs> but I just think it's funny how you first saw like, oh, this is so cute. Or it's like, this is... What I could do yeah, the whole yeah, yeah. night, and then now things just are a bit more practical. Of yeah, course, I still it's very practical. Yes, and even you know how. Oh my bad. What's that? The hair. Mm -hmm. Your beard is getting too long. Barber time. You know how um, in movies it almost always looks like couples sleep cuddling. That's the biggest lie they tell you in these pictures and all these social media videos nobody sleeps cuddling everybody turns around and sleep in their own side and that's the truth so <laughs> that's the truth in, you in don't the, know everybody's truth no please i don't know which people sleep cuddling the whole time mm. your arms are gonna go numb and you're gonna yeah, start true. sweating or you're gonna need to yeah. sleep in your own position at some point i don't know any, anybody who does this yeah, but in the but beginning, it's like it's cute, you know, the person is lying on your chest or, you know, you're cuddly and everything. Yeah, now if you snow, I'll record you. <laughs> <laughs> but I do think that if you're married for, or not even married, but if you're together for longer, the familiarity also makes it nice. Mm -hmm. Like the, it's like coming home. You know, you just want to be close with this person. Yeah. It's not the newness of it that makes it nice. Like, oh, everything is new. Ha, ha, giggle, no, it's, it's more the familiarity of it. Yeah, and that you can actually, like, yeah, you you long for that person. Yeah. Or for that moment to yeah. just either, like, be in the bed together and just... Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Or That's wake up nice. together. <laughs> Unless he's snoring. <laughs> <laughs> Come on back. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so that's that's uh, basically our. If you have any more, you can share this with us. This is our marriage in memes for yeah, now. For now, I'm but, sure there's more. Yes, if you have any memes um, that are very like <laughs> typical for your relationship, we would really love to read share them. with us. Yeah, yeah, share with us. We'd like to see them as well. Yes, and we'll catch you in the next video. Yes, we'll catch you in the next video. Enjoy your day. See you later. Bye. Bye.